Hey everybody, Nick Knack here for another video after how many days of not making one. As you see for the title of this vid, this is going to be a PS2 pickup video or a PS2 collection update, whichever one you think of this vid being. Now, this pickup vid or update is a very special one for me because it's somewhat of a milestone for my collecting. After how many years of keeping PS2 games and buying more, I finally hit my goal of obtaining 100 PS2 games. Now, I know some of you are like, oh, that's not that much. People have 200 or even more. 100 isn't that big. To you, yeah. But for me, it is just amazing that I got 100 PS2 games. And sure, like half my collection is these crappy GameStop cases or like just blank DVD cases. But hey, nonetheless, it's a hundred PS2 games. The disc is all that matters, right? But anyway, the last video I showed or like made showing my PS2 collection, I was at 96 games. So like after two or three months, getting on those GameStop deals. Like, believe it or not, some GameStops I, that are around my area still have PS2 games. I finally hit the mark and got the big 100. So what special game was it that made my 100th PS2 game for me? Wait and see as I count down it later on. But enough of me babbling. Let me show you guys my updates on my PS2 collection. First, I'm going to start this update with, like, these, like, slip cases. Like, thanks to the CoverProject.net and FedEx Office, I made my PS2 collection a little more beautified. Like, as you know, some people do those Game Boy Advance case things where they print it out and put it in DS cases. Well, yeah. I did the same for my PS2 collection. Anyway, let me show you some of the cover arts I've printed out and put in DVD cases. Def Jam Vendetta. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Soul Calibur 2. The Mark of Cree. The Getaway. Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore. And The Bouncer. Now, as I'm saying again, my thoughts on these type of FedEx office things, well, I really do enjoy them. I'm kind of mixed on them because they feel a little smudgy. And as you see right here, the edge or something like that is not like fully cover away. Something about the size is kind of wonky. Like, if anybody has tried this then, it covered the whole space. Tell me like what dimensions you put because for some reason I keep doing the same dimensions for these DVD cases or like the size of a regular DVD cover art. They still don't like, you know, cover the thing completely. So yeah, my first pickups are these. Um, coverproject.net and inserts. Now really, let's get on to the game. Game number 97 that I got for my PS2 collection was Hitman Contract. Now I know the Hitman HD collection is already out and I could be getting this game on it, but I already just paid this for like $2. And I can't really like pass it up. 
$642 and it's complete. So this was game number 97 of my collection. Game number 98 and 99, I actually like got from uh, like that, that GameStop deal in which you buy one PS2 game you get 50% off the other. So I can't really tell which one is 98 or 99, but I'll group them then in together. So like maybe game number 98 maybe is Red Faction Gorilla. Yeah, his blockbuster case, who cares? Well, for me, yeah. And game number 99 is Rygar. Oh yeah, speaking of these three games, Hitman, I still unfortunately haven't played it yet because I still need to play a first Hitman. Red Faction, I haven't played either because I still want to get Red Faction 2 and Armageddon. And the same thing goes for Rygar. Still need to like, play that, but I'm too busy with other games. Yeah. Now we get on to game 100. Now I'll go game 100 would be like a tie between like another game. I'm gonna consider this game to be the big one as my 100th game because this is the one that I like paid the most for and that is another copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's in this crappy GameStop case but the game that is all that matters and it works. And I tell you what, this being my 100th game, it's just awesome. Because, as anybody knows, I freaking love this game. And it being my 100th PS2 game, Gorga, was just amazing for me. And I got this for like 20 or like 30% off thanks to a birthday coupon I had. So Marvel vs. Capcom 2, game number 100. And... I have more games besides those games for my collection. Yeah, sorry I'm like spazzing out and having brain farts. This is like my first take. But anyway, that was game number 100. Game number 101 is Death Jam, Fight for New York. I got this when my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and I only like paid $10 for it because of the 50% off game. But anyway, oh yeah, speaking of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I play a lot of that guy I don't really need to say. It's an awesome game in my opinion. As for this game, I remember playing just a fuck ton when I was like in middle school. And quite possibly, this is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Had so many, me had so many memories. There's a whole bunch of things that makes this game good. If you like want to see me talk more about this game, check out a vid I made for a video response for Mr. Sprites and Bikes, in which I talk about this game a little more. So game 101. Now, game 102, 103, and 104. But the next three games for like 102, 103, and 104, I got for like, as like some sort of like deal or whole bundle. And for like Best Buy, they had 99 cent PS2 games if they're used. So I got all three of these games for $3. Yeah. Those are High School Musical 3 Dance. Anybody knows who knows me knows that I really want to collect my fuck ton of kitty games and girly games. And yeah, plus Vanessa and Hudgens and Ashley Tisdale are pretty fucking hot. So yeah, High School Musical. Next game, Brax, Rock Angels. Same thing with High School Musical. I decided to get this because my collection of girly and key games and this was a dollar. And surprisingly I found this game with those as well and I can't believe this was a dollar as I'm repeating myself again yeah sorry and that's Drakengard 
I still can't believe Best Buy had this. So those games were like 102, 103, 104. Games 105, 106, 107, I got like at a GameStop for mad cheap. And I usually don't collect these types of games, but for a price I got them, I couldn't pass them up. I got NBA Live 2006, you see your price, two cents, couldn't really pass that up. And although it's going to be like staying in my collection, collecting dust because I don't really like sports games that much, nonetheless, you can't pass up a game for two cents. Same thing goes for NBA Live 2005, see two cents, can pass that up as well. And Suzuki Superbike Championship, I think it's called, two cents. So like those four games, 105 through 107. And the last PS2 game I got to upgrade my collection a little more is something that wasn't I got for a deal or anything. I just wanted to pick this up and that's Turok Evolution. Now I remember playing the PS, I mean Game Boy Advance game of this and enjoying it, and I remember playing a bit of this, and it was alright. Not as fun as the Game Boy Advance one though, because I only spent a few minutes on this. But anyway, Turok. Can't go really go wrong with Turok, except for that next gen one. Um, anyway, this video is like 12 or 13 minutes long right now. Let me let me hurry this up. Uh, fast four mode on. So these were all the PS2 games I've picked up recently. And yeah. Um. Woohoo on 100 PS2 games. Sorry, I'm having more brain farts. Anyway, that's it for this video. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. And until next video, also like two more days of spring break for me. And I'm going to have to sacrifice YouTube for a bit. Yeah, you guys understand. Anyway, as, I, uh, as I'm saying again, see you guys.